I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 12. Let's focus on verses 6 and 7. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver, tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. You shall keep them, O Lord. You shall preserve them from this generation forever. Now today, let's start with the positive message of this psalm. God will preserve His Word throughout the generations, even unto eternity. And that means college professors, entertainment stars, business giants, uh, militant false religions, well, they may all war against the Bible. They may seek to silence and destroy those of us who commit our lives to faithfully submit to God's Word, but God will preserve His Word. And sure, we may train ourselves to defend the faith, but it is God who will personally sustain it. He preserves His Word by preserving His people, those who will testify of His faithfulness through even great spiritual oppression. And what we see by way of oppression may appear to be insurmountable mountains of opposition all around us. But God only sees evil men as grass that need to be mowed. In fact, the Lord told the prophet Isaiah to remind the people who considered themselves too highly that they too are merely grass in his sight. Isaiah 40, verses 6 through 8, the voice said, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass and all its loveliness is like the flower of the field. The grass withers and the flower fades because the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. It's interesting that he says the the wind blows upon the grass and it dies. The Hebrew word for breath and wind and air is ruach. And ruach is also the word for spirit. So when the Lord says that he blows on the grass, the grass, including the more flowery grass, all of it dies. God is saying that by his Ruach HaKodesh, by the Holy Spirit, he establishes men and he allows them to have their glory, that is, a flower. Furthermore, that very same spirit brings them to their end. Meanwhile, his word, which seems in the short term sometimes from the perspective of men to be on the verge of extinction, well, God's word just keeps on keeping on. When godly men pass away, we tend to fret. Oh, no, what are we going to do? That pastor of ours is no longer here. As if the light of the gospel and the preaching of the word will cease. Notice David's anxiety, Psalm 12, verses 1 through 4. He says, Help, Lord, for the godly man ceases. All our pastors are dying. For the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. They speak idly, every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things, who have said, with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Psalm chapter 12, verses 1 through 4. What about Psalm chapter 12, verse 8? The wicked prowl on every side when vileness is exalted among the sons of men. Men often experience a long-fought struggle before God weighs in. And when the time of our faithful wait is over, God himself will bring his faithful word to pass. Are you waiting in faith for God to deliver you? Well, keep holding on because God is faithful to complete what he has called us to. Psalm chapter 12, verse 5, For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now I will arise, says the Lord. I will set him in the safety for which he yearns. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And your giving to Groundworks Ministries has made this podcast possible and it transforms lives whenever you give to Groundworks Ministries. People's lives are changed. Would you consider making a donation to Groundworks Ministries today? Because we need your monthly support now more than ever. You'd be amazed how far even $20 a month will go. 
Donating is secure and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. Now, another way to help is to tell people about Groundworks Ministries. You can share these podcasts with friends and family and on your social media. And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com. Ministries.com.